see the I am delighted to be here this wonderful, wonderful early morning. It must have been similar this way when Christ, uh, the fulcrum of our existence today, everything that we hinge our life upon is because of the resurrection. I think of the religious element, the religions in the world, and there are many, there are over uh, 30,000 gods in India. There are religions today that are in number of a billion. There's over a billion Islamic people in the world today. There have been people advanced causes since the beginning of time. There's been powerful, outspoken, charismatic figures that have started great, large religious movements. But the difference in Christianity today and Islam today or Hinduism or Buddhism or Zenuism or any of the other isms in the world is because our Savior, the one that we're worshiping here today, not only did he declare the most powerful message that ever preached, but he told them, he said, you destroy this body. And he said, in three days, he said, I'll raise it again. Yes, yes, yes. And when they went to that tomb, Brother Terry, they found out that the stone was rolled away. And this was not a hoax. And this was not somebody's uh, made up idea or some uh, imagination. But the one that we build our life upon, the one that established what we hold to today, got out of that grave and, this, and, and the stone was rolled away. And without that resurrection, we would not be here today. Without the resurrection, there would be no life today. He would be just another religious figure. He would be just another religious uh, uh, philosophy uh, on the earth today. But aren't you glad that after 2,000 years, our Savior is still risen? And the living proof of that is that we are, as Brother John Henry said, we have had the opportunity to be resurrected ourselves. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful hope. I tell you, this is powerful stuff. Yeah. God is amazing. He amazes me. And I love him today. Yeah. And I appreciate him today so much. And I'm so thankful because he got out of that tomb. Yeah. I'm healed because he got out of that tomb. Yeah. I have redemption because he got out of that tomb. I have stability, I have strength because he got out of that tomb today. Yes. And I'm thankful today. I don't have a long discourse today. I'm just so thankful that God has shown mercy upon us today. I'm so thankful that, he re that Jesus resurrected over 2,000 years ago. And I'm delighted to be here. I, I want to tell you this. I didn't get out of the bed this morning for the Krispy Kreme donuts or for the coffee. I got out of the bed this morning because I knew that there would be some people here this morning talking about a risen Lord, talking about a Savior that got out of that tomb. Are you happy? I say, are you happy? Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm just delighted to be here. I love every one of you. Appreciate all of you being here. I thought I was, I was thinking as I was driving in this morning. Um, I have spent, I think, 43 years congregating with this group of people uh, and talking about the resurrection. I've spent 43 years. I look at sometimes... And I, I think I'm looking at someone else in the mirror. I'm not quite sure who this man is. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. And, but I am so thankful that God, and I don't know how he did it. I don't deserve it. There isn't anything in me that deserves to be here after 43 years. But I'm so thankful for his mercy 
and for his grace and for his abiding love. And that wonderful love is what we build on today. Do you love him? Can you say, Lord, I live because you live. I live because you live. I have breath because you live and because you came out of that tomb. May God bless you.